Welcome to Convocation 2021. My name is Lorene Raymond and I'm the Director of the School of Health and Human Performance and I'd like to welcome you, your friends and family to our virtual celebrations. We are so proud of you. We're here to celebrate in virtual Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq. We are all treaty people. I would like to at this point pass it over to Dr. Barbara Hamilton Hinch to bring a land and historical acknowledgement. Thank you, Lori. Before I do the land acknowledgement, I like to take a minute to pay honor and respect to the 215 indigenous children's bodies that were discovered. Thank you. I would now like to take this time to acknowledge that Dalhousie University is located in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq. We are all treaty people. We also recognize the histories, contributions, and legacies of the African Nova Scotian people who have been here for over 400 years. Thanks, Barb. At this point, I'd like to outline our agenda for the day. Our agenda is going to start with our awards ceremony, recognizing all of our phenomenal students across the Health and Human Performance School. Then we are going to break out into program celebrations, where you can have a chance to celebrate each of your colleagues and friends that are graduating along with you. Finally, we're going to have some concluding remarks and a final virtual visit with your advisors, Heidi and Lindsay. And then you can all join us in our virtual kitchen, Kaylee, from four till five Atlantic Standard Time on Zoom. This past year has been different, but you are stronger for it. And you have made us stronger. We have all learned together. I wanted to share some thoughts from Nelson Mandela. He once said, there is no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. We look forward to hearing how you are going to use your skills, your experience, your attitudes that you have all shaped as you've gone through Dalhousie, not just in your time at Dalhousie, but in the experiences you've done simultaneously whether you volunteered, whether you worked, whether you participated or played in a sport or recreation activity, all of those are different things that are helping to shape your life. We look forward to seeing and listening and learning all of your new accomplishments. So please stay in touch as Dow's newest alumni. Stay in touch on LinkedIn or social media. We look forward to hearing what you continue to do as you move forward. At this point, I'd like to move into our award celebration. Thank you and congratulations, graduates. Hello everyone, my name is Susan Hutchinson, Dr. Sue for short, and I am here today as the Division Chair for the Recreation and Leisure Studies Division. I am grateful to be streaming from the ancestral and unceded territories of the Mi'kma'ki people. I am also so grateful to be part of an amazing team of Recreation and Leisure Studies faculty who will be honouring our various award winners today. It is really important to note that for all but two of the wards that will be described today, the students comp were compared with other students within health promotion and kinesiology, so other students within the School of Health and Human Performance, to determine the best candidate for the award. The fact that our recreation and leisure studies students were selected for these awards is a testament to the incredible caliber of students we have in our therapeutic recreation, recreation management and leisure studies programs. So without further ado, only graduating undergraduate students were eligible for the first set of awards to be described here. 
So I'll now call on I'll now call on Kim Woodford, our TR Program Director and Internship Supervisor to introduce our first award and award recipient. Thank you, Susan. On behalf of myself and the Recreation Leisure Studies Division, we want to congratulate Therapeutic Recreation graduating student, Elizabeth Beth Koish for winning the Dr. Michael J. Ellis Award. This award is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated a definite interest and ability in research. Beth has a passion for helping those living with impairment or disability live a high quality of life, which has motivated her to pursue various opportunities to learn and do more, including volunteering with Dr. Heather Nietzsche's research group, successfully completing her honors to examine the qualitative perceptions around neuroscience-based interventions for those who have experienced stroke, and contributing to her internship placement site in her service learning project in, question, in answering the question among individuals with acute brain injuries, what recreation programs have demonstrated effectiveness in reducing responsive behaviors. She has also demonstrated a high quality of citizenship and leadership through involvement in the Dalhousie Health Sciences Students Association, volunteering with programs such as support for sport and the stroke club and has earned recognition such as Volunteer of the Year for Blind Sports and last year's 7th Pan American Wheelchair Games Award for her excellence in the study in the area of leisure and recreation for persons with disability. Beth, we are so excited to present you this award and look forward to seeing everything you will do in the future. Congratulations. Okay, so now I will invite Dr. Barbara Hamilton Hinch to tell us about the next award and award winner. Thank you, Barb. Now I'll invite Dr. Barbara Hamilton Hinch to tell us about our next award and award recipient. Thank you, Susan. It is with pleasure that we present the Dr. John C. Pooley Sports Person Award to graduating recreation management student, Rachel Webb. This award is for a person who enhances the sport they participate in or has assisted in its development. And Rachel represents both. She has seen the positive impact that sport and recreation can bring to one's mental and physical health, which has motivated her to be actively involved and support the growth of sports, such as cheerleading. She currently sits on the board of directors for Cheer Nova Scotia, and over the past year has worked on the main priority of finding ways to have children and youth participate in the sport they love safely in the pandemic, including working closely with the province and public health to develop competition and practice plans. She has also assisted the captain of the Dalhousie cheerleading team, which has given her opportunity to work in an administrative role in sport for the first time and enhanced her leadership and team motivation skills with the extension of a peer mentorship program for the cheerleading members. In addition, during her internship at Sport Nova Scotia, she helped to increase capacity of participation of sport with provincial sport organizers and increase gender equity within sport. We are so proud of you, Rachel. Congratulations on this award. Thank you very much, Barb. I'm going to go ahead and describe the next award and award recipient. So the next award is the Vincent Chu Memorial Fund Award. And this award recognizes academic excellence in the Joint Recreation Management Program. And it's given annually to the top academic student who demonstrates strong leadership, organizational and communication skills through volunteer work Extracurricular, extracurricular and school activities. The student selected for this award is Brody Parker. With an overall GPA of 4.07, Brody stands out as an exceptional recreation management student graduating from both the recreation management and management programs. Brody has also demonstrated strong leadership, organizational and communication skills in a myriad of ways through his recreation management program. For example, Brody was recognized by Dalhousie University with an impact award for creating an inclusive and fun recreation residence experience in Dalhousie's many residences. As part of his internship, he worked with youth in a 24 week climbing fundamentals, uh, fundamentals class as their lead instructor, responsible for planning lessons, running classes and evaluating that program goals were being met. 
In addition to his leadership within the Dalhousie community, Brody also co-founded the Parks Canada Society and ran a town hall on Sable Island about actions that could be taken to better protect this unique ecosystem. Please join me in congratulating Brody on this well-deserved award. Yay, Brody. Okay. So the next set of awards were open to undergraduate students, whether or not they were graduating. While the first award was specific to therapeutic recreation students, students from across all three divisions for, were eligible for the next three awards. But again, they were all awarded to students from our recreation programs. Again, speaking to the caliber of our current and graduating students. The first award um, to be presented now recognized as one of the longtime faculty members within the school and one of the pioneers within the therapeutic recreation field, Dr. Jerry Singleton. And I'll call now on Dr. Sarah Moore to describe and present this award. Thank you, Susan. So the Dr. Jerry Singleton Award is presented to a therapeutic recreation student who has been actively engaged in one of the therapeutic recreation professional organizations over the past year, including any contributions to the development and growth of the profession. We are happy to announce that this year's award is presented to Amy Rizzuto. Amy completed her therapeutic recreation diploma at NSCC in 2020 and is now a transfer student in our degree program. She is an active member of Nova Scotia Therapeutic Recreation Association since its formation in 2019, serving in the student director position at both Dalhousie and NSCC. She has contributed to professional conferences, volunteered to help with Therapeutic Recreation Month and social events for the professional organization. And she sits on the Nova Scotia Therapeutic Re uh, excuse me, the Nova Scotia Therapeutic Recreation Association's Advocacy Subcommittee, as well as our own Therapeutic Recreation Program Advisory Committee. Her passion for therapeutic recreation and supporting the quality of life for others is, is inspiring. And on behalf of the Recreation and Leisure Service as the Studies Division, we congratulate you, Amy, on this award. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Next, I'll ask Dr. Karen Gallant to tell us about this next award and award winner. Thanks, Susan. It's my pleasure to pass along congratulations to third year therapeutic recreation student, Sarah Prosper, winner of the PHE Canada Student Award. This award recognizes outstanding undergraduate student leadership in the field of physical education or a related discipline. Sarah is truly an outstanding leader within the school and beyond. She has shared her love of dance, nature, and physical activity with peers in the recreation programs at Dalhousie, more broadly at Dalhousie and in Halifax, and in her own community of Escazoni. For example, Sarah initiated and led an education-based movement class on Mi'kmaq re reconciliation through dance at Dal, as well as at dance studios in Halifax, and in Cape Breton as an invited guest. She has also facilitated ad ad adapted dance as a volunteer at Club Inclusion and created chair exercise videos for elders in Escazoni and beyond last spring to encourage physical activity during lockdown. Sarah, I'm so excited to see your leadership recognized with this award. Congratulations. Thank you, Karen. Um, and now I'll ask Dr. Sun Trong to tell us about this next award and award winner. Thanks, Susan. I'm excited to recognize Abby Hakings, who is receiving two awards this year. Abby was a highly engaged student, making important contributions through her studies, as well as to the profession of therapeutic recreation. Abby served as the Dalhousie Student Director for the Nova Scotia Therapeutic Recreation Association, as well as on Dalhousie's Therapeutic Recreation Program Advisory Committee. Abby's achievements and contributions to her local community and the profession resulted in being awarded this year's Outstanding Student Award from the Canadian Therapeutic Recreation Association. I'm also happy to present Abby with this year's Frida Wales Memorial Scholarship from Dalhousie University. This award recognizes a student who has made outstanding contributions to the development of outdoor recreation in Nova Scotia. Abby has exemplified this during her studies in the School of Health and Human Performance, 
completing several projects focused on the importance of outdoor programs for health and well-being. Abby has work experience with the Tim Horton Children's Summer Camps, as well as at the Adventure Earth Centre in Halifax Regional Municipality. At the Adventure Earth Centre, Abby has managed the Counselor Development Program and was also active in planning the Youth Engagement Strategy Camp to help build youth leadership skills through outdoor recreation and learning. Abby has completed the Provincial Reconnecting with Nature training to increase children's appreciation for nature at a young age and co-coordinated the first Nature Preschool at the Adventure Earth Centre. Most recently, Abby has been working with me to help evaluate the Adventure Earth Centre's summer programming, which has been adapted on an ongoing basis due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Abby has a strong passion for outdoor recreation, both personally and professionally, and I have no doubt that her leadership skills will continue to contribute to the development of outdoor recreation in Nova Scotia. Congratulations, Abby. It is with great pleasure that I get the chance to present the Pan American Wheelchair Games Award to Kevin Waters. He is this year's award recipient. Kevin is entering his fourth year of study and has conducted both volunteer as well as academic work towards advancing access to recreation and leisure for persons with a disability. In particular, he has worked with para hockey since October 2016. He has volunteered with the South Shore Para Lumberjacks organization, which is a growing para hockey team out of Bridgewater. Their team consists of typically 15 to 20 players each year, and they play against other teams in the Maritime as they advocate for the growth of para hockey in our province. With the Para Lumberjacks, he has acted as the assistant coach, treasurer, and a member of the board of directors. The Para Lumberjacks are associated to the Para Hockey Cup as they are the legacy fund recipients. Their bid to host the Para Hockey Cup was selected in 2016, which got the program started and they were selected for 2020, now 2021, given the pandemic. For Leisure 4362 this past fall, where Kevin was a student, he worked on an event plan for the Para Hockey Cup with a focus on enhancing sponsorship opportunities. His goal was to obtain sufficient funding that it could be used to leverage the exposure of the event and reach a variety of try it events. Congratulations, Kevin, on this award. Thank you so much, um, Lorene. Finally, Dr. Sun Trung uh, will again tell us about another Therapeutic Recreation Leadership Award winner. Thanks, Susan. It's my pleasure to recognize Stevie Grant, who was awarded this year's Outstanding Student Award from the Canadian Therapeutic Recreation Association. Stevie was nominated for this award in large part for her contributions on a project this past winter term to integrate therapeutic recreation service delivery into a social work community clinic, which focuses on providing interprofessional community care through a social justice and anti-oppressive approach. As part of the project, there was an internship created and based on her strengths as a student, as well as her experience as a recreation therapy associate, Stevie was selected to be the first therapeutic recreation intern at the clinic. As her preceptor, I was able to observe that Stevie is a strong advocate for the therapeutic recreation profession, as well as for the importance of recreation and leisure to support the well-being of clients with a range of complex challenges amongst an interdisciplinary team. Some of her key achievements along the way included providing leisure education and counselling to clients, assisting clients through systems navigation and identifying resources to support sustainable recreation participation in the community and leading a virtual self-care project for university students during the pandemic. As the first intern, she paved the way for the growth of the program and future student learning opportunities. Stevie, it was a pleasure working with you as the first intern at the clinic and I'm so glad you were recognized with this award. Congratulations. Thank you, son. So the final set of awards um, that we're going to share with you recognizes the exceptional graduate students we have been we who, who have been affiliated in different ways with our recreation and leader studies division. And so I'm going to uh, talk to you about the first couple of folks. Um, the first person to be recognized is Christine Osman. Christine went on from completing her therapeutic recreation undergraduate degree to undertake research as part of an, a Master's of Arts in Leisure Studies. We anticipate she will be successfully defending her thesis in this July, um, but really kind of what's exciting is that she's been accepted to start her PhD in health program in the fall. 
In addition to a provincial so Scotia Scholars doctoral scholarship, Christine was awarded the Harris A. Ritchie Award for Doctoral Research in Therapeutic Recreation. And so this award was established through the generosity of Andrew Ritzy, and the scholarship was designed to support doctoral or postdoctoral therapeutic recreation students to pursue the PhD in health program in the Faculty of Health at Dalhousie University. So Christine will be going on to study the impact of using therapeutic recreation strategies within a neural feedback intervention um, to, and the impact this has on the patient experience of stroke survivors. And uh, Christine will be co-supervised by Dr. Heather Niedley in kinesiology and Dr. Sarah Moore, who has joined Dalhousie in a school level position. And so the next award is the Margaret Townsend Sherwood PhD Scholarship in Therapeutic Recreation. And again, this award was also provided through the generosity of Andrew Ritzy. And, and Andrew has had a long affiliation with our Therapeutic Recreation Program in the school. And so we're so grateful for, um, to Andrew for this generosity. So again, this scholarship was also designed to support doctoral or postdoctoral therapeutic recreation students who were pursuing a PhD in health in the Faculty of Health at Dalhousie University. Ashlyn had been an undergraduate student with us um, a few years ago and went on to do her master's somewhere else. And then we're so excited that she's back here with us um, to do her, her um, doctoral program. So Ashlyn is intending to conduct a narrative study on the experiences of women survivors of domestic violence in nature-based and adventure therapy programs, and will be supervised by Dr. Sun Trong. The last award winner we want to recognize is Guiana Tomas, and I'll call on Dr. Karen Gallant, her, her supervisor for her master's in leisure studies, to tell us about this. Karen. I'm really uh, thrilled to recognize Guiana Tomas, a graduate student in our program, who's received University of Waterloo graduate scholarship funding to continue her studies in the PhD in Leisure Studies program at the University of Waterloo. Guiana's master's research focuses on the experiences of Filipino immigrants and particularly the potential of leisure as a source of identity for immigrants experiencing unemployment or underemployment. And she'll continue to focus on the experiences of Filipino immigrants in her PhD work. It's been such a pleasure to work with you, Guiana, and I'm so excited to see where your PhD work will take you. Congratulations. At this point in our presentation, I would like to do a joint award. I'm gonna turn it over to Alex LeBlanc to do the first part of it. On behalf of the Student Association of Health and Human Performance, we would like to thank and recognize Dr. Lori Deturbid for her hard work and dedication throughout this challenging year. We recognize the effort and uh, connect in the effort that she's made to connect and engage with her students. And because of this hard work, we would like to announce that she will be the recipient of the Student Association of Health and Human Performance Student Appreciation Award. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you, Dr. Lori Deturbin. Thanks, Alex. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a joint presentation. The school would also like to bestow on Dr. Deturbid the Teaching and Mentorship Excellence Award. This award recognizes her work as a reflective teacher and how she has worked hard to promote critical and reflective learning within the class space. No more has this been relevant than this current past year where she has worked to create safe spaces and an emotional space for a farewell to her graduating students. I'd like to pass it over to Sarah Milligan to share a student perspective. Anyone who knows Lori knows that she is a wonderful professor who is very passionate about her work both inside and outside of the classroom. When asked to write a nomination letter for her, I had no doubt in my mind that she is deserving of this award. Though I could go on about specifics for a while, you will have heard enough of me talking today. So I'll just say this. On behalf of your students, thank you, Lori. You make us feel important and supportive, and you create relationships that I know will last for a long time. We are all so lucky to have learned from you. You are encouraging, dedicated, kind, and so much more. Congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. The Matthew Knox Award is given each year to a graduating student who demonstrates 
high academic achievement, integrity of character, a spirit of unselfishness, respect for others, potential for leadership and physical vigor. I was so pleased along with Dr. Janice Morside to nominate this year's award recipient. Not only has Ben Rittenberg demonstrated incredible levels of academic achievement in the classroom, in his research and scholarships, he's also very much fulfilled all other award criteria. From his volunteering in various causes, leading conferences on youth mental health, and his involvement in sport as a youth sport coach and player president of the Dow men's baseball team, Ben has very much earned and is deserving of this recognition. So from myself, Dr. Janice Morside, and all of the faculty and staff in our school, Ben, I congratulate you on this award and the completion of your undergraduate degree. Hi, my name is Jackie Gahagan. I'm a professor of health promotion in the School of Health and Human Performance at Dalhousie University. And it's my great pleasure to let you know that Catherine Armour, a former student of mine in the Honors Health Promotion Program, is the recipient of the 2021 Hugh Noble Award. It's also important to note that Catherine receives this award uh, because of her extremely high academic accomplishments, as well as her qualities of citizenship and leadership. So it's my pleasure to congratulate Catherine Armour on receiving this important award. Well done, Catherine, congratulations. Hi, Steph. I wanna start by congratulating you on your graduation today. I wish we were at a time where we could celebrate in person both your success and the success of all your fellow students. But what I really wanted to talk about today was talk about the job that you have done in research over the past year. I remember just over a year ago, you and I met when you were thinking about doing your honors. And during that first meeting, you told me that you were unsure whether research something was something that you were interested in, and even if you were, that you didn't have the skill set. However, I'm extremely happy that you decided to take the opportunity to pursue your honors over the, the past year. I think you've really seized all the opportunities that have been presented to you. You've gained a wealth of experience in terms of research as well as have done a phenomenal job. You've been able to write an abstract, which you then presented at a national undergraduate conference. You're now working on a manuscript based on your data that hopefully we will get published this summer. And even more importantly, you got involved in a number of different studies that are ongoing in the physical activity and cancer lab, one of them being our access study. So I think you've really developed a wealth of experience. So if we go back to that first conversation that we had just over a year ago, where you were unsure whether you can do that, whether you could do the research, I think it's clear that you definitely can. And this is supported by the fact that you are being awarded the Applied Physiology, Nutrition and Metabolism Undergraduate Research Award for Excellence. This award recognizes the excellent work that you've done over the past year. So congratulations on a job well done. I'm looking forward to working with you over the next two years as we work on your master's research and I am sure you will accomplish great things. Please make sure to take the time to celebrate your accomplishments. Thanks, Steph. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching and for joining us to celebrate the immense successes of our Recreation Leisure Study students. Congratulations, everyone. Woo -hoo. Everybody. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Janice Morside from the Division of Kinesiology, and I have been given the wonderful task of beginning this video filled with congratulatory messages to the graduating class of 2021. Why me? Well, uh, we wanted somebody who most of the students would recognize. And I like to think that anatomy in second year is kind of unforgettable for good or bad reasons. We have all made it through arguably the most difficult and unusual university year in history. 
I don't think any of us would have chosen to do an entire year online or virtually, but you did it. You stepped up, you rose to the occasion, family and friends in there helping as well. It's a big accomplishment and I want to congratulate you all. To the family and friends, a big thank you for helping these graduates get through. I'm sure in terms of family, many of you had students that had moved back home, which you weren't really planning on, so thank you for that. I'm sorry I don't get to meet you. I love meeting the families. I like seeing the family resemblances, the mannerisms, the excitement, and the pride. I did get to more or less meet a few of you, uh, which are fun memories from this past year when my students had to bring in a model to demonstrate certain physical techniques on for their exams or their labs. And in would come, I'd like you to meet my dad, I'd like you to meet my sister. So all of you, thank you for that. It um, made my day. To the graduates, approximately 30% of Canadians over the age of 25 have a university degree, which means that approximately 70% do not. And it's easy to lose sight of that when you're in a university setting. But getting a university degree, especially in a year like this, is a very large accomplishment. And you should be very proud of yourself. When you get to be my age, you'll be able to add it to your storyline and say, well, when I was at university, et cetera, et cetera. So we're very proud of you. For many of you, you may feel like you're heading into uncharted territory. I too am leaving Dalhousie at this point in time with no concrete plans for the future other than to hopefully visit family out of province. But I do know from past experience that given time, most of us will find something satisfying, exciting to fill the next chapter of our lives. And I like to think that you are graduating with the tools and the skills to embrace these new challenges and succeed. There are lots of other people waiting to give you congratulatory messages, so I won't hog the camera here. Again, I wanted to congratulate you all. This is a huge accomplishment, especially in such a difficult year. So congratulations, good luck in the future, keep in touch, and we're very proud of you. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I've just finished my term as Dalkin Society President and Sabre Grad Rep. First of all, congratulations. From wherever you are in the country, you've managed to finish your undergrad. When I submitted my last final, sitting at the same desk, five feet away from my bed as I'd been sitting in all year, it felt pretty anticlimactic. Even now, recording this and waiting for my degree to be mailed to my parents' house, it feels a little flat. But being virtual doesn't mean that this isn't a huge accomplishment. Four or five years ago, we all sat in 1104 learning about the basics of kin, and we've spent way too much time in the basement of the Dalplex and the desks at the Killam to finish without some sort of recognition and celebration. Dalkin is special. It's a program that feels big at times, but in reality, the same group of us have been together since the start. We all survived physics, Janice's anatomy, and Derek's ex -phys. We all learned about ethics from Sherry, sports psych from Lori, and measured one another's body compositions more times than I'd like to count. Kin is special because it's not competitive or unfriendly. We all want one another to succeed, and we've made some pretty great friendships through Wingate testing, biomechanics lectures, and in walk runs to get from the LSC to the Cheb in less than 10 minutes. Those friendships make up a pretty big part of your support system when, like a lot of us, you're far away from home. Moving to Halifax, I didn't know anyone, but I've been able to build up a pretty great group of people who've helped me get to this point, and some of those people are key players in everyone's experience. So on behalf of us graduates, I'd like to thank the parents who got a few too many phone calls as a means of procrastination, the professors who spent much of their free time answering our emails about things we'd likely already learned about in class, the administrative staff who've ensured that we actually get to graduate, and to everyone else who's been a part of these last few years. You've all made such a big impact on our lives and I'm so grateful that we got the opportunity to learn from you. Now to my classmates. Though I don't know every one of you personally, I do know that this is a really special group of people. We have very different plans for the next few years, whether that's physio, chiro, med school, public health, 
and some of us have no plans at all. But I do know that each of you will be successful in whatever it is you choose to spend your life doing. I hope that you all take the time to celebrate this massive achievement. I'm so proud to be a part of this graduating class of Dalkin 2021. Congratulations on all of your hard work. Hello graduates. Well, it's been a time, hasn't it? Congratulations to you all on navigating through not just this past year, but the entirety of your degree. We're so very proud of you all and wish you all the best in your next goals, whatever they might be. Have a wonderful and safe summer. And once again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. It's a huge achievement graduating from our kinesiology uh, program. Please uh, feel free to stay in touch, you know, send an email, let us know um, how you're doing and what your plans are. Again, big congratulations on this fantastic achievement and I wish you all the very best for the future. Hi, congrats. Uh, congratulations on um, completing the uh, kinesiology program at Dalhousie. Um, you should be really proud of all of your accomplishments um, and I hope that you're finding um, some really good ways to kind of celebrate your successes. Um, it's been a pleasure getting to know many of you um, and uh, you know I really look forward to, to hearing from some of you and, and hearing about you know what you're doing in terms of next steps and on your next journey. Um, for those of you who are in my KIN 4709 class, it was really such a pleasure to have you in the class. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to know you better. And again, I wish all of you, uh, you know, kind of success in these next kind of stages of, of your life. Uh, finally, to my honor student, Mo Agdem. Mo, you did such a phenomenal job in terms of your honors project this year. Um, and I couldn't be prouder of you in terms of, uh, you know, what you accomplished. Um, really excited for your next journey in your master's program uh, at Dell with uh, Dr. Grandy and the, the Access team. Um, so thanks to everyone and um, yeah, congratulations and, uh, and be well. Thanks. Grads, Tidy and Lindsay, your good old HAP advisors here. At this point, you've made it. You probably don't need any more advice or guidance from us, but we just wanted to wish you a final farewell and best wishes on all your future plans. We've loved getting to know all of you over the past several years through in-person meetings at Stair House, as well as virtual meetings this past year. You've all proven that you can achieve your goals and persevere despite challenges, and you should be super proud of that. You've shown poise, professionalism, and resiliency throughout a global pandemic, and we're confident that you can achieve all the goals you've set for yourself after graduation. 
absolutely. And now as we welcome back students from all over the world to Dalhousie's campuses this fall, including a group of brand new HAP students, we hope that you will hold in your heart fond memories of your favorite HAP places and people. And we know that you'll go out into the world and do amazing things to help make our school's mission, health and wellness for all, a reality. So a big congrats from us and all the best on your future dreams and your bright future ahead. Thank you.